Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was so confused. He said Eleven. we have energy Nairo versus T, and I, I thought he was going to say S M, and they just stopped. He so stopped. I was like, oh, immediately. Okay. But you know what's funny? What's up? Which T though? It's definitely not the Link that made waves at Civil War. I mean, the Link is here though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where? All right. So we have Nairo. He's uh, one of the last remaining saviors of North America or of America to be able to try to win this tournament. We did see Nairo at that one event, Suplex City, which was like the wildest ultimate event that I've seen so far where the Buzz was sent to lose his early, Nairo was sent to lose his early, Mike was sent to lose his early, so Mark was sent to lose his early, and Nairo was able to bring it back and still be able to win the tournament. Wait! Try to go for it there Did already. you see what Nairo tried to do? He tried what? to ride off of the water, the wind box of the water, into a down air on T. What a madman. Nairo's officially Jesus. He yeah. the water. <laughs> That's facts. Here we go, guys. Going into the first game here on Pokemon Stadium 2 is Nairo versus T, a very hype match. T, such an impressive opponent, was able to just take out so many great opponents in his wake. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, if, if you didn't believe in the Pac-Man, believe now. This guy is the truth. Nairo right now, though, again, we were talking about how great he did at the most recent Suplex City against a lot of great players. And there were, I'm going to tell you right now, dude, uh -oh. Suplex uh -oh. City. There? Wait, there? No, he's not going to dare. What? <laughs> Untackable. He got hit right there. We saw that red oh. flash against the Sage. Okay. Nairo gets pushed away. He probably should have just let it rip. Okay, that was the side B. That's why it actually KO'd. I thought it was the up B. So I You're thought, fine. I thought he actually... Um, oh, I was like so confused on how it KO'd, even though it was up B. It was side B coming up from back. I do know that Lat Nairo is a big fan of going for the down air off stage. But against certain characters, you know, it may not hurt going for the neutral air. We'll see, though. He has good judgment. He got to where he was because of the fact that he trusts himself, and he's quite a practice opponent at that. So here we go. So recovering super low again, probably forcing Nairo to maybe want to go for a neutral air. But there it is. Putting himself in the air already and ending that stop with that invincible back air is Nairo. Yo, when I saw him go for the jab, it almost made me shed a tear because, you know, Palatina jab in Smash 4, at least it was a good grounded option. In any event, we're going to so keep the move. It's just jabs in general in this game, you know? You oh, kinda, yeah. Everybody just holds A. All you gotta do is just hold A. A, 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 And I'm done. <laughs> right. And I like that T decided to throw down the belt, making it bounce on the ground a couple times. It's uh, really good just in case you try to block, you might still get hit by it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and there goes oh, the apple. That move yeah. is so surprising. It looks like it's not going to send you anywhere, and it KOs. In that situation, Nairo could have went for a reflector. You know, especially because he was going to land right there, but it's hard to call, and you have to be really precise with the timing, too. Because if you miss it, you get a counter. Here wow. comes Nairo, making it tough for Another T to recover. Backer. Very nice by T. Back here again, though. Okay. Uh huh. T's not afraid, though, man. This is not his first rodeo. Nairo is crazy at edge guarding. Not letting him come back at all. Okay, that's, that's a punish. That's him right there. Great job. All right, Nairo, fantastic job at not only edge guarding, but ledge trapping. Making it so he can bring it back almost even right about now. Just needs one neutral air to be able to continue the combo. Yep, we know that. Palatina is one of her most favorite aerials, of course. If I'm not mistaken. Her favorite aerial, like. <laughs> yeah, man. You don't even need another aerial. Top tier alone from that aerial. Yeah, neutral air, 12 frames of landing whack. But yeah, still really good, right? You, you <laughs> could cross up the yeah. opponent. You could space. Edge guard. Oh. You could make your opponent SD. Oh, no. With the neutral air. Unfortunate coming out from C. <laughs> well, Nairo just was like, all right, well, uh, we'll take those, I guess. Yeah, take those. <laughs> yeah. Take anything. All right, so remember, guys, the loser of this set mm -hmm. gets fifth place. Yeah. Fifth place again. Seventh place is MK, Leo, and Tweak, unfortunately. Great players. But Nairo, Nairo the best player in the world? Not, honestly, okay, let's look at the people we have left in the bracket, and you let me know. I'm going to name names. Zachary, Ally, T, Shuton, Nairo, Light. Who do you think could take first? If I were to put anything on anything, we're, I'd say... We already got Zachary and Shuton in the finals. I'd say Nairo the most, and then uh, Shuton second. Real? Okay. With the rest of you guys at home, feel free to tweet at us and let us know. I want to... Actually, I'm interested in seeing what you guys think based on trends, and uh, we'll, we'll basically comment on what you guys say. We're uh, XD1X and Katara time on Twitter. Use the hashtag Prime Saga, and we out. Nairo is Nairo. He's one of the few people I've never bet against because he could be anybody in the world at any point in time in whatever Smash game he's playing. So, whoa. <laughs> it was literally four explosive flames. Or, like, as you like to say, explosive light. You know, <laughs> it sounds like explosive light. It's almost like, what do you hear, Yanni or the other one? 
What? Yanny or green something. I forgot what green it was. Tea? What you green tea? About? I don't Yanny. know what you're talking about. But here Yanny. we go. Yanny. Yanny. We have tea playing. Yanny. The Pac-Man right Yanny. now. Oh, Laurel. Laurel and Yanny. All right, all right. I hear explosive light. I don't. I never hear explosive flame. Ever. It's like Laurel and Yanny. That's it. And that back air. I knew he was looking for that back air, <laughs> but I thought he would go off stage to get it. <laughs> Beautiful stuff by Nara, only 60%, barely being able to win that first game, but now looking very dominant in the second game. Pokemon Stadium seems to be safe for him. Yeah, for sure. All right, so anyone right now just chilling Nara with these edge cancels is so consistent with it, too. Okay. Oh, yo, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, I'll be honest. Second. Nice stuff right there by a team. And I'm a big fan of Nairo trying to end these chains with neutral into a backer because if he misses the timing and the opponent tries to swing, he'll win the, the exchange. Oh, really? Because you know? the backer has a flexibility. Oh, that's true. I'm going to have to explain that. Anyway, so here we go. And right now, Nairo getting hit by a lot of Hydras. But he's still, he's still doing fine. Oh, my gosh. No! Oh! He was still combo off of it. Try he to go. knew. And he waited for the double jump, too. Yeah, does Nairo play back? Like, the heck? Seems like he's really good at dealing with... Uh, some of the fruits mm -hmm. having a little bit more trouble with the hydrants. That's why hydrants keep hitting him. But nice. there goes one good reflect coming out from him. I love that right there by Nairo. There's the up air, and it's so yeah. strong. They might have nerfed the startup on it, but the, the knockback is so good. That's very good knockback. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nairo just spacing with the forward airs. Probably wanted to dash attack there. It's actually shocking to see Nairo not always going for the neutral air combo start that you would expect, but that back throw should be able to get the KO. Yeah. Very high percent. He's still looking really in favor of Nairo at the moment. Ooh, okay. Nice. Okay. Nairo getting aggressive again. One of the most aggressive, if not the aggressive, most aggressive Palutena I've ever seen. Okay, gets the chain. And one of my favorite confirms is seeing Nairo go for like the double neutral air into the back air, then off stage. Let's get the other one again. Hit is with the auto reticle. Hanging back. Trying to get the damage that he can get on the high jump with the interception of Itui. T, sorry. That <laughs> <laughs> was like, whoop. TSMT. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, but here we go. <laughs> Maybe one day. All right. That'd be cool. Remember, he's aggressive. He's probably in the golf stage. Mm -hmm. Oh. Actually deciding to ledge trap. I do like to see him go for that down tilt into Bear. Sometimes he gets KO with that, but this is lower percent. Back here. He waited. Yeah. Yeah. Expert stuff right here from Nairo. Needs one more game here in this situation, and honestly, I, I don't, I don't want to John for T, but just the more I see him progress he's, through the bracket, inside. I feel like he's not winning the, uh, the, it, it, you know, just that endurance race. You know, the, the endurance test. It's tough when you're in a tournament. You gotta last for a long time. The entire weekend, playing from morning till evening time, right? Yeah. And again. He's in a situation where he's not in a familiar time zone. He comes here he comes here time and time again to the point where maybe we can't use that as a legitimate John, but it is hard, and he does look rather fatigued. Let's go here into the third game. Hopefully, he'll be able to tie it up against Nairo in this match on Pokemon Stadium yet again. All right, let's see. And Nairo keeps going for that up smash on the Hydra, and the Hydra always pushes him away. Yeah. Not too sure if he's doing that on purpose, like timing it where it's like, I'm going to do this up smash where I'm safe at the end of it, or like it maybe the up smash stays out forever because the hitbox does stay out forever and pushes him back with the Hydra. That, that's why he does it. Yeah. Oh hitbox. <laughs> but I have to say, man, like Nairo's Palatina, Rare form that we're seeing here. Yeah, really good. Oh my goodness. Okay, getting explosive flame. I like how he does that whenever the hydrant's out. He wasn't doing that in the beginning, mm -hmm. but now he just throws out the explosive flame where it's like it can not only hit the hydrant, but it'll hit Pac Man hiding behind the hydrant. So you actually can't run away and stay behind the hydrant. Another back here. And the hydrant might be gone, so he doesn't, Nara doesn't have to worry about getting like. Okay, another one comes through, but I thought he was going to oh get like. Oh my god. Burst it off. Here it is. This guy is way too aggressive. He got very fortunate. It looks like T didn't go for an option that could punish Nairo being at the edge there, especially after grabbing it the first time. Nice. Faked out the grab. So if you guys ever fight Pac-Man and you have him off the stage, do exactly what Nairo's doing. Yeah. Just run off the stage and just try to go for a back or you might be able to get the hit. And again. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. And he still could come back. Uh, that might have been a mistake not. right there. Yep. Um, we did that second explosive flame because I don't think he would have done something where he could have recovered mm -hmm. again. Okay, blocks the key. Nice, get the tech chase, and he puts him in the air for that up throw. Follow up, and wow, here comes T again. Back throw? Yeah. Uh, Everyone yelling E, but doesn't get it, yeah. 
almost get him to Explosive Flame again. It's crazy how much pressure he's putting on him whenever he's on the stage. He's either going for Explosive Flame or just jumping off and trying to get the back mm -hmm. And he's having so much trouble with that. But the dash attack going to get the KO even on... Oh, okay! Wow! All right. Not only on the pole, but with it too. That's, <laughs> That's what nice. I'm saying, baby. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Dash fair to dash attack. Okay, we got 79.5 right here for Nairo. <clears throat> All right, and the Hydra Again. hanging it, putting it on the ledge a lot. I know Yo, Nairo, so, so good at with, with these tech chases, with the follow-ups as well. Okay, I, I like what we're seeing here, too. He doesn't, like, super commit when it comes to the follow-ups. I like that he uses that now. Before, he used to try to use that mm -hmm. whenever he's at KO percent. Um, like, auto reticle and yeah, explosive frame? Okay. Yeah. But now he's using it a little bit more just to rack up some damage after he does a combo and the is too far away. He just does auto reticle to add some damage. I agree. A lot better. Gotta watch out for that up air pac man. Ooh, what, do, wait, did the wind box push him? No, no, no. It was a it was a high chart wind box. Yeah. Okay. A little bit too far to get a grab punish, and now T's in control, get some charge. Down. And Down throw back air. Wait, he didn't Ooh. DI out. That's yeah, Nairo's definitely gonna threaten. I do like that. I like that T did not DI out. He's trying to mix it up, and he mixed it up pretty well because he probably thought or Nairo looked like he was waiting for air dodge. Oh, he has the bell too. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Yeah, he's too far. And Nairo understanding that he can't always get that timing down when it comes to the punishment, especially if they go for the grab from far. At this point, I don't even think it's uh, Pac-Man's screw. I feel like it's Nairo's. Because he's just yeah. using it so well. I mean, honestly, you know, even if Pac-Man were to throw out the, the Hydra as Nairo up airs, Nairo could still up air through. Oh, Wait! Good that, snipe! That snipe coming out from T. So smart. And he does have Galaga. Galaga does really good percent combos. 30 to 40 something percent, but mm -hmm. Nairo going completely past it. And he gets the book. He burns him again. Nairo, one of the per players that are really good at using auto reticle when it comes to this character off stage against opponents. I don't see too many Palatinas use it as well as he does, which forces people to recover low. Down and throw. Oh, wow. he tried to go for the thing he did last time to be able to get that delayed back there. And oh my gosh, I'm surprised. Again, that move is kind of buff. So the yeah. grab. It's not like Smash 4, man. Different yep. game. Okay. Keeps it going here. High jinx out, but. That's going to help out T a little bit. Shield is very small yeah, for Nairo. So you mm -hmm. might as well just throw out that F smash, knowing that even if it doesn't like hit, it will put a lot of shield pressure. Potential break the shield. Wait. What? Oh, my God. T got caught unawares. No DI into the blast zone. A 3-0 victory for Nairo representing NRG. Wow. Very sudden KO coming out from Nairo. I don't believe the DI was too fantastic on that. Because usually in this game, you'll see that whole thing where it's